Hey guys, Drew with Kush Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys everything that we got back from CAC stickering. Did it pass? Did it not pass? Did we get a gold sticker? We're going to let you know in this video. Let's get it started. So as you guys might know from a few weeks back, we ended up sending an 1879cc. We sent a 93S Morgan dollar in. We sent some lower end coins in trying to go for gold stickers. Uh, we ended up sending in some type coins, seeing if they would sticker also. We ended up sending in a 1939 Proof Walker. Just a really great group of coins, nice variety of coins. And so in today's video, we're gonna show you those results, give you guys exactly what we think of why they did or didn't pass, learn from that, and then the next CAC submission hopefully is a little better. I've been trying to include some tips in some of these videos about you know different life tips, business tips, whatever. But something that I would say is that what you did yesterday and what you did today will define what you'll be tomorrow. And so if you want to change who you are, you need to change what you do and how you do it and how frequent you do it. What positive things do you do for your life today? What negative things do you do for your life today? And ultimately the way that I change over time is that I say, hey, those negative things need to stop or need to be reduced and the positive things need to increase. What am I doing in my life that will bear fruit for me? And how can I continue to do that so that my life will be changed? I will be changed. The way I think changes. What I earn changes. What I look like changes. What I think about changes, right? So try to figure out what's negative, a negative frequency. What are you doing on a daily basis that's negative for your life? And how do you change it to make it positive? All right, guys, so we're going to start off with something fun here. We submitted four coins at least to try to see if we got a gold sticker. Are we going to get, you know, one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, four out of four? Let's show you guys right now. So the first coin is this 1945 D MS65 full bands, Mercury Dime. A little bit of haze on the coin, a few little spots here and there. So they did not even sticker this coin, which to me this coin looks like a six, maybe a seven. But... That's okay. I like the coin. And uh, we just wanted to give the CAC overlords some money. And that's what we got. The second coin is this 37... Ooh, what is that? What is that sticker there? Huh. 37D Buffalo Nickel. Nice toning. Superb strike. Great luster. No issues in the fields. I mean, I thought this coin was a, a lock gold CAC to begin with. And it came back with that gold sticker. Wowee. And uh, very happy about that. Ended up buying this at a show in Conroe, Texas. The next coin is a Franklin half dollar. Don't submit too many Franklins, but when I saw this coin, I think I've handled probably 150 Franklins in the past month. This one was definitely the nicest. This is a 1950. Whoa, whoa, yeah, okay. Uh, another gold sticker. Uh, 1954S, Franklin half. I mean, look at the fields. Look how nice the coin is. This coin's at least a six. At least a six. There's no issues in the fields, very little issues on the on the head or the chin, and uh, no problems on the reverse. A few little marks here and there, but yeah, she a gold sticker. Let's go. Happy about that. And now the last one. 37S, Buffalo Nickel, Great Mint State 64, Gold CAC, nice toning. San Francisco Mint Buffalo Nickels have a softer strike from what I could tell. Most times with Buffalo Nickels, especially later dates. And this one I felt was a gem, a little bit better. And they agree with me. This one's probably a 65 CAC by today's standards. And so, I mean, look at that. Already starting off with some strong submissions here. Now we're going to hit you with the Debbie Downer. So we ended up submitting an 1879cc Morgan Dollar MS64. It was a cap die. And just too much haze in the coin, I think. That's what held it back. It's still a nice coin. But I would have loved if this coin stickered, and uh, unfortunately it did not. But still a great key date to have in the inventory because there's a lot of collectors out there looking for this coin for an affordable price. Then we have a 1939 Proof Walker. This coin almost looked cameo. It's so nice. And it came back with the bean. I mean, look at this coin. Just, I mean, baller material, right? So we have uh, a Proof 66 Walker here. Little bit of a better date, CEC approved, 
Very l few hairlines out in the right field on the obverse, and uh, the reverse is just spectacular, almost perfect, and uh, very happy with this one. Then we have uh, a two and a half Indian. A few videos back, we were talking to a dealer about grading two and a half Indians, and I thought this one was really nice. I thought I would get a sticker, and it didn't. You know, I, I could be wrong most times, and a lot of the issues with two and a half Indians come down to uh, either the strike of the coin or uh, the severity of the hits. So when you look above the eagle on the reverse, there's just maybe too many hits for them to say this is a great coin. I felt the strike was all there, so we just didn't see eye to eye on this one. Then we have this 37D Buffalo Nickel. We got from the Perry Georgia Coin Show. Absolutely beautiful toning. This coin needs to be an 8 holder. It's going to get an 8 holder if I do it or not. And... Uh, just absolutely stunning color and it did receive the bean very happy about that then we have this 1876 seated half dollar and it's great at mint state 63 I thought of a green sticker it has a few kind of I don't know if they see it as hairlines or polish lines I saw it and PCGS sees it as polish lines just because of how proof like the coin is but CAC saw it a different way which is unfortunate and uh, it didn't sticker, but just an absolutely gorgeous coin. Love it so much. Excited to offer it to you guys on AkushaCollectibles.com. Then we have this 1797 uh, 10x6 Drape Bust Dollar. So I said, in case you didn't agree with me, I said, hey man, it's too dark. There's not enough circulated cameo. You know, there's not enough white on the, maybe the high points and darkness in, in the fields. It just looks too dark. I don't think CAC would sticker it. In case he's like, oh, they're, they're going to sticker it. I'm like, okay, man. So we sent it in, and uh, it didn't sticker. So, you know, one for me, zero for Casey. That's okay. We learn and we live. And uh, happy to send it in, and we both learn something from it. Then we have this 1827 CAC plus TAF. This one is an OGH holder. It didn't sticker. The reason being for me is because with XFs, you need some luster, man. You just need that luster to, to peek through. The detail's all there for XF, but they just need some luster, man. No luster on this coin, unfortunately, and that's what I said when we sent it off. And it didn't sticker, sadly, but nonetheless, still a great coin, tough in an old green holder. Then we have a coin we submitted for a customer. They bought it from us and said, hey, let's just submit it and see what happens. There's kind of like a circular motion something right here on uh, on the high point of this coin it's a little bit white for me it needs to be darker it needs to be more you know attractive as a coin for me to submit it to CAC but they wanted to submit it anyway and I told them probably wouldn't but they said hey give it a shot and it uh, it didn't pass but still a tough coin in any grade that 72 cc but last but not least a coin that I need to buff out but a nice coin nonetheless a 14d Lincoln cent Graded VF20. This one we picked up at the Perry Georgia Coin Show. Has a little toning on the obverse. And uh, I felt the reverse might have been cleaned. But CAC liked it. They stickered it. 14Ds are exceptionally tough in OGHs. So this is a great win for us. Can't wait to show you guys all these new purchases on AcousticCollectibles.com. Thank you so much for watching.